Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Our journey through Genesis continues. This journey started with Lesson 146. Can you believe it? This is Lesson 171. You may have missed some, but that's okay. I invite you to go back and listen to any stories which you may have missed. They are all numbered, so they are easy to find. I'm having a bad day. I don't want to talk to anyone. Can things get worse? Have you ever said this to yourself? Now, how did you handle the situation? Did you pray? Now, today, we will see how Joseph's life changed while he was a slave. Today's story is entitled, Joseph the Prisoner, and it's taken from Genesis chapter 39. And as always, I will invite you to read chapter 39 after you listen to the story so you can discuss it with all of those at home. The reference text is taken from Genesis 39, 8. But Joseph refused. He said to her, My master trusts me with everything in his house. He has put me in charge of everything he owns. Now on to the story. Last week, we spoke about Jacob asking Joseph to find his brothers. So he went looking for them. When he saw them, they said, here is the dreamer, and they placed him in a pit. After a while, they sold him as a slave, and he went all the way to Egypt. Now, when Jacob heard about this, but he didn't, he didn't know he was a slave, they gave him his coat, and they saw he saw the blood, and he was heartbroken. And when he heard about it, he was grieving. But we pick up now with Joseph in Egypt. Now, when Joseph went to Egypt, there was a guy by the name of Potiphar. He bought Joseph. And Potiphar was the captain of the palace guard. And he placed Joseph in charge of things. You know, he looked at Joseph, he was pleased with Joseph, and he continued to give Joseph much responsibility until Joseph did everything. He controlled everything that was there, and God blessed Potiphar and those around him just because of Joseph. But there was a slight problem. As much as Potiphar liked the work Joseph was doing, his wife liked him also in a different way. And she told him. And Joseph would say, no, 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 no. I can't do that because it's against God and I can't do this against your husband. But one day he was there and she held on to Joseph. And Joseph ran because he did not want to get in trouble. He did not want to do anything that was wrong. But she got upset. She screamed, ah, 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 that boy, that boy. You know, she was just screaming out. And she made up a story saying that Joseph was trying to attack her. And she held on to his coat until Potiphar came. And she gave Potiphar the story. And of course, Potiphar was upset. And he sent Joseph to prison. Now think about it. Joseph was old. He then became a slave. Now he is a prisoner. Could things get any worse? But Joseph continued to trust God. And God blessed him even in prison. And the prisoner, the, the guy who was in charge of the prison, he liked Joseph and he was impressed with Joseph. And Joseph was placed in charge of all the things that happened in the prison. So now Joseph is in prison 
Is that the end of Joseph's story? Stay tuned. Next week, please, God, and let's see what happens in the story of Joseph. Now, let us think it through. In all situations, we should do our best. Joseph was a slave, but he continued to do his best. And he even got a promotion because of it. Now, Joseph was faced with temptations. And we should ask God to help us fight temptations and to avoid certain situations. And importantly, we need to obey God's law. And as we go through everything, let's trust God in all things. Joseph was in jail, but God blessed him. Because the Lord can be with us in all places. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. While Joseph was a slave, he did his best. And Potiphar promoted him above the rest. But Potiphar's wife had a bad plan. Joseph said, I can't do this against God and your husband. She was upset that Joseph said no. And she decided that he had to go. But Joseph's fate in God did not fail. And God blessed him. Even in jail. All right, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one. What was Potiphar's occupation? A. A slave trader. B. Captain of the palace guard. C. Prison supervisor. Or was it D. Pharaoh's advisor? What is the answer? The answer is B. Captain of the palace guard. Question number two. How did Joseph operate as a slave? A. He hardly worked since he was upset with his brothers. B. He tried to escape a few times. C. He did his best and was successful. Or is it D. He planned to get even with his brothers. What is the answer? And the answer is C. He did his best and was successful. Question number three. What was the main reason for Joseph's success? A. He attended business school. B. He was lucky. C. He had very good health. Or is it D. He trusted God and God blessed him. What is the answer? And yes, the answer is D. He trusted God and God blessed him. And question number four. Joseph was taken to prison because A. He attacked Potiphar's wife. B. He did something wrong. C. False accusations were made on him. Or is it D. He just wanted a change of venue. What is the answer? And yes, the answer is C. False accusations were made on him. All right, I thank you so much for taking the quiz. All right, it is now prayer time. So let us bow our heads. Let us close our eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, in our times of trouble, help us to trust you. Help us to stay obedient to your word. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to thank you for watching Uncle C Bible Lessons. And if you want to email me, my email address is Uncle C Bible Lessons at gmail.com. That is Uncle C Bible Lessons at gmail.com. But please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, this is it for now. But as you go through the week, I want you to remember 
that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.